Welcome back to Dr. Farhad's channel. Today we have an essential topic to discuss, chronic venous insufficiency, a condition affecting countless individuals worldwide. We'll delve into what it is, its causes, symptoms, and most importantly, how to manage it effectively. Chronic venous insufficiency arises when the effective drainage of blood from the legs back to the heart becomes impaired. Typically, this condition results from damage to the valves within the veins, which can occur due to various factors, including aging, immobility, obesity, extended periods of standing, or following a deep vein thrombosis. It is often closely linked with the development of varicose veins. The role of the valves inside the veins is to ensure that blood flows in a unidirectional manner as the leg muscles contract and exert pressure on the veins. When these valves sustain damage, the leg muscles' pumping action becomes less efficient in propelling blood towards the heart. Consequently, blood accumulates in the leg veins, giving rise to venous hypertension. The persistent accumulation of blood in the legs brings about noticeable changes in the skin. The region between the top of the foot and the lower calf muscle, commonly referred to as the gator area, is particularly susceptible to these alterations. Hemosiderin staining is a reddish-brown discoloration caused by hemoglobin leaking into the skin. Venous eczema, also known as varicose eczema, manifests as dry, itchy, flaky, scaly, red, and cracked skin. These eczema-like changes result from a prolonged inflammatory response within the skin. Lipodermatosclerosis refers to the hardening and tightening of both the skin and the underlying tissue. Chronic inflammation leads to fibrosis in the subcutaneous tissue, transforming it into scar tissue. Paniculitis, inflammation of the subcutaneous fat, contributes to the narrowing of the lower legs, creating the characteristic inverted champagne bottle appearance. Atrophy blanche describes patches of smooth, porcelain-white scar tissue on the skin, often surrounded by hyperpigmentation. Alongside the aforementioned skin changes, chronic venous insufficiency can lead to various complications, including cellulitis, delayed wound healing following injury, skin ulcers, and pain. In clinical practice, chronic venous changes are frequently observed in elderly patients. It's important to note that these changes are sometimes misdiagnosed as cellulitis, resulting in patients receiving antibiotics. While patients with compromised skin are more susceptible to skin infections, it's crucial to remember that bilateral cellulitis is relatively uncommon, and chronic skin changes related to venous insufficiency do not resolve with antibiotic treatment. Management the management of chronic venous insufficiency encompasses three key aspects, preserving skin health, regularly monitoring skin health and taking precautions to prevent skin damage, consistent use of emollients like diprobase, oilatum, cetrabin, and doublebase, employing topical steroids to address flare-ups of venous eczema, using highly potent topical steroids for managing flare-ups of lipodermatosclerosis, improving venous drainage to the legs, encouraging weight loss in cases of obesity, Maintaining an active lifestyle, elevating the legs during periods of rest, considering the use of compression stockings, ensuring arterial disease is ruled out through an ankle brachial pressure index assessment before their application. Managing complications, administering antibiotics in the presence of infections, providing analgesics for pain management, implementing wound care strategies for ulceration. In conclusion, addressing chronic venous insufficiency involves a multifaceted approach encompassing skin health preservation, optimizing venous drainage, and effectively managing associated complications. By following these guidelines, individuals can enhance their quality of life and minimize the impact of this condition. So, in this comprehensive video, we've covered the ins and outs of chronic venous insufficiency, from its definition and causes to its symptoms and effective management strategies. By the end, you'll have a solid understanding of chronic venous insufficiency and how to improve your quality of life if you or someone you know is affected by it. Thank you for joining us today on Dr. Farhad's channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future updates. If you found this information helpful, please share it with others who might benefit. Stay tuned for more informative content, and as always, take care of your health.